Hello, BCPS students and families. We are excited to share a read aloud with you. As you listen to this text, we will stop at times and ask you to think about what is happening. After you finish listening to the text, first, we will share some questions with you for you to think and talk about. Then you will see a writing prompt. You can use this writing prompt to respond to the text. You can then share your written response with your teacher. Finally, you will see some project ideas for enrichment and ways to have fun interacting with books. Please enjoy Ducklings by Marfe Ferguson Delano. And a big thank you to Scholastic and National Geographic for Kids for allowing us to share this text with you. Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you today to share a read aloud of a nonfiction text with permission from Scholastic called Ducklings, a National Geographic kids text for the Explore My World series written by Marfe Ferguson Delano. I know when I'm reading a nonfiction text, I need to get my brain ready to be thinking about the information or facts that I'm going to be learning about a topic. I also know with nonfiction, I want to use the text features like the photographs or pictures to help me better understand what it is that I'm reading. In today's text, we will be reading about a duckling. Ducklings have a life cycle and we'll be learning about what happens from egg to parent. It's important for us to ask questions as good readers before, during, and after reading. As I read today, I'm going to pause at different points to wonder about my learning. I can start my questions with, I wonder. You try it. Say, I wonder. Great job. Before I read, I can wonder about the cover and the title. I know that this says ducklings and here's my photograph on this cover of a baby duckling. I wonder why this duckling doesn't have any feathers. I'm also wondering what this duckling is about to do. Let's go ahead and read to find out. Ducklings. Explore My World, Ducklings by Marthe Ferguson Delano, a National Geographic kids book with permission to read from Scholastic. It's a wood duck. In early spring, she flies through a tangle of branches and lands by a hole high up in a tree. What's in the hole? Her nest. What's in the nest? Her eggs. Day and night, the mother duck sits on the eggs to keep them warm. Inside the eggs, the baby ducks are growing. After about 30 days, peck, 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 the baby ducks are ready to hatch. I wonder how the baby ducks get out of their eggs. Let's read to find out how. Crack! The baby ducks tap and peck and push their way out of their shells. They are wet and sticky and tired. Hatching is hard work. Oh, so they push their way out of their eggs. That's so interesting. The next morning, the mother duck leaves the nest and swims in the lake. Below the tree, she softly calls to her ducklings. Ooh, ooh, ooh wee, ooh, ooh, ooh wee. Tweep, tweep, the fuzzy ducklings cheep. They want to be with their mother, but they can't fly yet. So they climb to the edge of the hole in the tree and... Jump! One by one, the ducklings leap from the tree. Down they go, tumbling and turning. Splash! I'm wondering if baby ducks, ducklings, can swim when they're so young. The ducklings start swimming right away. They follow their mother. Wherever she swims, they swim. Wherever she waddles, they waddle. Wherever she sits, they sit. 
and wherever she sleeps, they sleep. Wow, baby ducklings can swim when they're so young. That's so interesting. Yum. When the ducklings get hungry, they dip their heads into the water and scoop up plants and bugs and other small animals in their beaks. The ducklings grow up fast. When they are about two months old, they grow a new set of feathers. And with these new feathers, they learn to fly. Now the ducklings are on their own. No more following mom. Let's stop here. What are you wondering? The ducklings keep growing and changing. By summer's end, the males are as colorful as a box of crayons. The females look like their mother. When the weather turns cold in the fall, the young wood duck fly to a warmer place to spend the winter. When spring comes, a male wood duck and a female wood duck will fly to the lake together. The female will lay her eggs in a tree hole nearby. Follow me. And one fine morning, the new mother duck will call for her ducklings to leave the nest and join her. Ooh, 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 wee. Ooh, 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 wee. Excellent animals. Ducklings, ostrich chicks, owlets, and other baby birds all hatch from eggs laid by their mothers. But they aren't the only baby animals that come out of a shell. Here are some other egg examples. There's a lizard. I see a grasshopper. Do you see the sea turtle? Do you see the baby alligator? Do you see the corn snake? Do you see the tadpole? Ducky details. This might be a good chance to learn some more facts about ducks. Let's read to find out. Wood ducks are built for climbing, perching, eating, walking, swimming, floating and flying. Here are some of the features that help them to do these things and more. Sharp claws on toes for climbing and perching on branches. Webbed feet are perfect for swimming, floating and walking. Wide flat beak for scooping up food. Waterproof feathers keep ducks dry. How do you keep dry? How many different colors can you count on the male duck? He is very colorful. How many on the female duck? Underneath their outer feathers, grown up ducks have a layer of soft, feathers called down. Ducklings are covered with down when they hatch. It helps keep them warm. How do you keep warm? A wide rectangular tail helps wood ducks balance on tree branches. Let's be ducklings. Now it's your turn to be like a duckling. Are you ready? Let's look at number one. Curl up in an egg shape. Curl, curl, curl. Number two. Peck out of your shell. Peck, peck, peck. Number three. Shake out your feathers. Shake, shake, shake. Number four, 
jump from the nest. Ready, set, whee! Can you jump high? Number five, splash down in the water. Pretend to splash, ready? Splash, splash, splash. Number six, swim in the water. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Number seven, go for a walk. Let's see if we can walk like ducklings. Ready? Waddle, waddle, waddle. Great job. Number eight, spread your little wings. Flap, flap, flap. Can you pretend to fly like a baby duckling? Now that we have read about ducklings, think about what did you learn about ducklings? What are some things that you're still wondering? Welcome back. I hope you enjoy learning about ducklings just as much as I have. Now, talk about these questions to help you think about what new information you have learned about ducklings. What does the mother duck do to keep her eggs safe and warm? About how long does it take before the baby ducklings hatch? How do the ducklings get food before they learn to fly? In what season do ducks fly away to a warmer place? Now, let's write about it. List three facts you learned about ducklings. Don't forget to write your facts in complete sentences. Let's have some fun. You could reuse a box to create a bird's nest. Find some sticks and grass outside to make the nest warm and cozy enough for an egg. You could gather some sticks and build a tree, glue the tree to a piece of paper, and draw a picture of your favorite bird flying to its new home. Birds fly all over the place. If you were a bird, where would you go? What would you see? Write a short story about your adventure as a bird. Draw a picture to match the words in your story. I hope you take some time to do one or even all of these great activities. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.